Thanks for watching. Indeed, we are coming to you from the comfort of our own homes and into yours as the Championship Dart Circuit is proud to present the CDC Championship League American Division Finals. Once upon a time, eight weeks ago, there were seven Americans. Now there are two, Nick Lindbergh and Gary Mawson. Lindbergh bursting some pipes and beating Chuck Pulio. Mawson beating his newfound rival in reigning Continental Cup champion Danny Lauby. There's so much to look forward to in this clash of the Titans in their race to nine, best of 17. But before we get into all of that, I've got to thank all of you at home. Uh, we are getting through some technical issues to get to this match here between Nick Lindbergh and Gary Mawson, uh, two of the fiercest competitors who have achieved greatness. Both of them have trophies of varying degrees in the CDC Championship League. And uh, one of these two tomorrow will be in the championship to face off against Kylie Edmonds, the number four seed who you just watched win an unbelievable, as we've now come to call it, slobber knocker against the great Jim Long. But let's get to know these guys a little bit better, shall we? I mean, you already know them already, don't you? Nick Lindbergh and... Of course, Gary Mawson Lindbergh from Ohio. He remains there, originated in Fairfield and now in Liberty Township. Gary Mawson, the expat Canadian at 56 years old, now lives in Lehigh Acres, Florida. You can find out about his whereabouts just by looking at his Facebook page, especially during the winter time for us here in the Northeast. Not a lot of fun to look at, but we're catching up to you in the temperature, Gary Mawson. Speaking of temperature, let's look at the heat that these two men have brought throughout the season. Statistically, a brand new gorgeous graphic. Thank you, Jennifer Mounts and Magic Darts Incorporated. Nick Lindbergh, an 85.23 dart average to Gary Mawson's 84.6, basically even. 180s, definitely even. Checkout turn in favor of Mawson by 3%, but take a look at that head-to-head -head legs. Lindbergh with an 8.3 advantage. Wow, it does not get any better than that, folks. You've got a, an absolute possibility of a full 17 legs to look forward to tonight. So let us take a look at what we have going for you at home. How about our sweepstakes? We found out our winner earlier tonight for the jackpot snook winner uh, uh, was uh, Philip Wheeler from Juneau, Alaska. But now we have two sweepstakes underway as soon as these matches are done one will win a signed set of lorraine stain uh win stanley steel tip darts her 24 signature target darts signed by ms win stanley herself as well as a set of signature darren young fit flights and then as if we haven't given away enough we move on to nathan as that's right the asp he signed his set of Target 22-gram steel tip darts. They could be yours. You could throw like asp. And you can also get a set of signature Jeremiah Millar Fit Flights for your darts. Brought to you by Cosmo Darts and Fit Flight, courtesy, of course, of our sponsor, Magic Darts Incorporated. And with that, I would love to pivot over to our sponsors over at Magic Darts Incorporated before we get to sit down and talk with Nick Lindbergh and Gary Mawson. And uh, of course, a man you know very well. He'll be joining us momentarily. You'll find out who that is if you don't know already. But in the meantime, a quick word from our sponsor.
And of course, people on both sides of the chat room trying to figure out who they want to root for. And if anyone who wants to participate in our sweepstakes, they can do so by going to the Championship Dart Circuit Facebook page at the conclusion of these matches. They have until 5 p.m. Eastern to participate in that. And everything you can find from A to Z Darts.com and the Colonial Line, you can get 10% off by using the promo code Colonial10. But now it is time to talk to these last two. Americans, Nick Lindbergh and Gary Mawson. And with that, I bring on the great Anthony Eugenia. Uh, Anthony, of course, always an honor or privilege to have you in the uh, virtual booth with me. And I will let you take the reins and talk to our two remaining Americans. Thank you. Thanks, Colin. I mean, how great has this been? Seven great weeks, 14 awesome players, and one tremendous host. Thanks for taking us through this whole ride, Colin. On behalf of everybody, I want to say thank you. I mean, All right, gentlemen, thank you. Let's, I, I can't appreciate yeah, it more. You're, 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 you're the best there is. You're an encyclopedia. Love it. Uh, all right, enough butt, butt kissing. Hi, gentlemen. Congratulations, first off, of course, being here tonight. Uh, let's talk first to the number two seed, Mr. Mawson. Um, came through Friday night with another great match against Danny Lau, but you guys never disappoint. Um, Mr. Mawson, for those who don't know, is only one of two players to have won everything that the PDC is, uh, PDC, oops, hey, I'm getting above my britches. The CDC has to offer a regular season event, a <laughs> Continental <laughs> Cup, and a match play champion. So Gary, t- as, as you're, you've got a, obviously a very tough match and a tough customer tonight, but give me some perspective on what it would mean to close out and be the last player standing in this first ever championship league. Well, I just, you know, it's, it's a, it's another notch uh, on the belt, right? I just want to, you know, perform well and, and, and go to a, a new ship final. I mean, I'd, I'd love to take this first title. And perform well, you always do. You, all, you never disappoint. And we're all looking forward to seeing Gary Morrison play tonight. So good luck tonight, Gary. And now on to old, reliable Nick Lindbergh. Nick, just give me a little perspective on, you know, coming into this, as we spoke about, six other great uh, U.S. players, you, number one seed, Friday night, a real nip and tuck affair against Chuck Puglio that you, you came ahead 9-7, but you threw nearly a 90 average. So give us give us some perspective on the whole season and sitting here, in the U.S. Championship. Well, Anthony, it seems we've lost Nick's audio feed. And if I'm going to be a lip reader, I'm going to tell you he's saying, uh, well, you know, it's been a tough road. Uh, He's done everything he's had to do. He's thrown some great darts, and he's thrilled to be here. Amen to that, Colin. Thank you very much. And, of course, we wish both gentlemen well. And uh, we're looking forward to this. Take it away, Mr. Colin Cotel. All right, will do. Now we've got the audio, and it has been full echo. It sounds like our machine is about to take over us, and we knew that was just a matter of time as we're all relying on technology. Gentlemen, uh, we thank you so much, Nick. We will get some words from you no matter what uh, as we move on in tonight. So we know this much. Nick Lindbergh won the bowl, and uh, we're going to get these things underway. So, gentlemen, thank you so much for your patience and for being a part of the production. We really appreciate it. Uh, Nick Lindbergh, of course, is going to have a two-camera shot tonight uh, looking at his beautiful man cave that was built by another, none other than Mr. Timmy Nickel. Nick Lindbergh is the top seed going into this. Gary Mawson, um, well, he's no slouch, let's be honest here. Uh, he has, as aforementioned by my my peer uh, and uh, and fellow broadcaster, Anthony Eugenia, has done everything you can possibly do in the CDC with the exception of landing that spot to go over to the Alley Pally, courtesy of our friends with the, uh, the, the PDC. So we'll, uh, we'll get to that another time. Right now it is all about what we have done here with the championship dart circuit and pivoting. That's right. I said the word. Uh, over from the pandemic taking away from the tour and creating a virtual league. It has all come down to this for the Americans. One of those two men on your screen is going to advance. Who's it going to be? We'll find out. It is a race to nine best of 17. So gentlemen, get on your marks, get ready. Let's get this party started to everyone in the chat room. We appreciate your patience. Thanks for being here tonight. We appreciate it. And uh, you guys ready? Let's do this.
Right. So we're just waiting for the go ahead from both of them. Gary King Lindbergh, you you are to lead off. We are ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Game on, gentlemen. Shoot well. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. And Nick, Let me know when you're ready, Gary. Yeah, I'm all set. All right, shoot well. You too. All right, Mike. game, game is on again. One of these great caveats of bringing you virtual darts is the fact that, well, we are at the mercy 70. of technology. Secondarily, you get to hear the players in real time. They are part of the production. And last but certainly not least, oh, hold on. That's a ton 40 from Gary Mawson. But last but not least, there are going to be sound issues. There's going to be stream issues. There's going to be issues. You know, what can you do? But a nice one, two, five out of Lindbergh there. And if you missed it before, which I know you didn't because a ton of you were there to witness that unbelievable match between Kylie Edmonds and Jim Long. Some huge outs, some huge averages. 140. There's a ton 40 from Nick Lindbergh. Not down to an out. Watching Mawson warm up. It looks like a man possessed. But if the world has learned anything about Nick Lindbergh, is you can never count him out. One of those players we watched kind of rise up, a local legend in Ohio, and has just one, built two, a name six. for himself here. That is a gorgeous one, two, six from Lindbergh to leave him an out. But Lindbergh. Really built a name for himself nationally. A gorgeous ton 21 from Mawson now. A little bit of pressure on Lindbergh. Not at all. First dart, knocks it down, holds throw. Lindbergh one, Mawson nothing. Mawson up to throw next. Anyway. Throughout the season, when we were having a little bit of fun with this and trying to figure out what we were doing, getting our bearings, getting our footing, trying to find out a 60. nickname for Nick Lindbergh. I feel like the professor seemed to stick quite a bit. According to Marnie Strasser Durham, it would be Nick the Terminator. So we'll figure that out in the off season. The off season will begin pretty much 24 hours from right now. We will know who will be the first ever CDC Championship League champion. Will it be America? Will it be Canada? Will it be Lindbergh or Mawson? Or will it be Kylie Edmonds, the number four seed, taking down Jim Long a short hour ago? There's a 140 for Mawson now. That leaves him a 180, which you cannot take out. I'm sorry, it's not electronic darts. Lindbergh now. 100. His camera from time to time jumps from high def to 8-bit Super Mario World, but no matter what, it doesn't matter. Dark Connect has got you covered. They're going to tell you the score at the bottom of your screen. 100. There's a nice ton from Mawson. Does Mawson go fat, fat, double, or double, double? 58. I'm going to go with the prior rather than the latter. Bob Hamilton, who wouldn't like to start every match with a 13 darter? That third dart falls into the double one. The old nut house leaves Mawson double 19. He will have a shot at it. 45.
Mawson, 19, over to the three he goes. There it is, double, eight. Oh, just outside the wire. So now Lindbergh. Eighty scored, 98. and there is the ninety-eight, leaving him double top. If and only if Mawson is unable to hold throw now, double eight to do so. Fair marker. Two. Second dart does it, so Mawson holds throw. Will this set the standard for the night? That remains to be seen. Once again, you are you. I'm Colin Cosell. We are all at home, hopefully being safe, everyone healthy. I hope as well. You are watching the CDC Championship League presented by Magic Darts. This is the USA Divisional Final. Winner moves on to play Kylie Edmonds tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern is when we begin the stream. 100. Ton from now dubbed No Nonsense Nick Lindbergh. The old 99 out of Gary Mawson. Lindbergh, of course, opening up with a 13 darter, now holding on to a 93 one, two, average. Five. And a nice 1 2 5 out of Nick. Gary and his lovely wife, Lily, residing down in Florida. Oh, first door perfect. 140. And that's a 140. One, two, three. And that's a one, two, three. The old Sesame Street from Nick Lindbergh. He is now down to an out, though, unless Mawson has something to say about it. And an 83 will not be enough to get him down to an out. Lindbergh, not the prettiest out. Can be done, but he's not going to be able to do it. 99. But a 99, not too shabby as we move on to our split screen of Dart Connect on your left. A nice 1-2-1, one, one, though, out of Mawson. A bit of pressure now on Lindbergh. Looking to hold throw. First second dart, dart perfect. Second dart even more perfect. And Lindbergh does just that. So a 14 darter out of Nick Lindbergh. Again, Dark Connect. David and Greg revolutionize the way we score. Fingertip without dry erase marker or chalk. Our sponsor, Magic Darts Incorporated. 96. Our production staff, USA Darts Productions. Kevin Malenfant and, of course, David Irie. All brought to you by the Championship Darts Circuit and Championship Darts Corporation. Awesome. First dart, perfect. Second dart, perfect. Or nope, that first one might be the five. Want to say hello to John and Kelly Baxter? Thank you for all you've done for us and all you do for darts. Thank you. 60 for Moss in there. Now Lindbergh. 59. 59 from Lindbergh. You could hear it in his voice, something you can't do with darts anywhere else. Moss in first, perfect. Second one, just north. Third one, right next door. Range bedfellows for a 100. Ooh, errant first dart from Lindbergh. Nice cover shot. Oh, even better third cover shot from Lindbergh. 
One one nine leaves him one three zero. Mawson now one eighty six used to be my home address in Stamford, Connecticut. Is now the number he's trying to bring himself down to an out with. One hundred. That's a ton. Two dart out. Double eighteen. Double sixteen. But Lindbergh might have other things to say about it. Looking for the first break of the night. Forty three. And the old forty three. Mawson to hold. First dart perfect. Second dart. And two. Booyah! Gary Mawson with the 86 out notches it at two. Oh, confirm. So a 19 dart out. Not exactly the most polished or beautiful darts. Who cares? 17 dart, my apology. Still an out. Lindbergh holding on to 94 average. Mawson, 92 average. You see it there right on your screen, courtesy of Dart Connect. Sixty. Sixty from Lindbergh. So as these two settle into the match. As we saw with the previous match between Edmonds and Long, some scorchers, more scorchers and snoozers, but a couple of snoozers. It's to be expected. One, two, five. Nick Lindbergh hitting his third one, two, five of the night. Mawson. Saw some stellar darts out of him during warm-ups. Both men having to put up with the production aspect of it, trying to make sure that you at home see and hear the best product possible. We are perfectionists here. There's a nice 140 from Lindbergh. But they are a part of the production team as well. And to every single player, all 14 of you, the 12 watching at home and the two playing right now, thank you for everything you've done to make sure that we are having live sports at a time when there were no live sports to be watched. Seven sounds good to me. I shot 97, Nick. I think you got control. Can I do this? Oh. Uh, that work. Yeah. All right. I fixed it for you. Here you go. Thank there you. We go. Thank you. I still really like <laughs> and the control seven. issue between the two has been solidified <laughs> and fixed. <laughs> and we move on. <laughs> and the laughter ensues. Just one of the crazy things that comes along with doing a live production. Look at Lindbergh. 136. 136 indeed, Nick Lindbergh. Double top is the out to hold throw. Both have done so. We will take a break after the eighth leg. Timmy Nickel is watching. The stash is in the house. Nice ton 40 from Mawson. Nick Lindbergh to hold throw yet again. Does so with one dart. Fucking relentless. Relentless indeed. A 13 darter, Gary Mawson. We have to censor you. No, we don't. It's 10.35 p.m. Eastern time. The kids are in bed. Go ahead. First dart. Second dart. Third dart. Nice ton 40 from Gary Mawson. I only sound disappointed because we expect so much out of these competitors. Again, nothing on the line other than a spot in the championship tomorrow night. Virtual darts up and down all over the place. None as prestigious as what we've going on here in North America. Mawson back at it again. Starting to gravitate to that double. 
A maximum is soon to come, but a ton 40 for the time being, Nick Lindbergh. A ton 40 out of Lindbergh now. This, of course, coming after a 30 to open this sixth leg. Mawson is in a groove. Oh, that third dart. Thought about it for a second, maybe a little too long. A 1-2-2 two, two leaves him 99, but Lindbergh is going to need a maximum in order to make it a game. 140. And a 140, he says, with a hint of sadness. Mawson now to take out the 99. Phenomenal leg out of Mawson. 80 remains. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Gary Mawson. Nice shot. 99, Nick Lindbergh reserved in his acceptance of what Gary Mawson just did. Mawson with a 12 darter. So now the competition is heating up. We've been working our way down. We've had a 17. We've had a 16. We've had a 15, a 14, a 13, and now a 12. Who's got the 11 darter in them? 16. Mawson has caught fire. The muscle memory is working for him. He is dancing all around that treble 20. What up to you, Timmy Nichol? It is so great to see you in here, my friend. Hope you and your family are well. Of course, the first family of American darts. Gavin, we will see him, I'm sure, in short order. 121. A one two one out of Moss in there, but Gavin has made waves in the JDC and will undoubtedly be on the CDC stage at some point soon. Ton forty out of Lindbergh now. Of course, for Gavin, it's going to seem like a long time until he's part of the CDC. For all of us who are, you know, of a certain age, well, time becomes dog here. Don't forget that. Out. And as soon as I tell you Mawson is destroying the treble 20, the muscle memory gives out on him and a singular 40 out of him. We are tied at three. It's a race to nine. One, three, four. Nice ton three, four out of Nick Lindbergh, though, gives him an out. Both men have held throw, toe to toe, aki to aki, throw to throw. Lawson, kind of touch and go with dropping down for the cover shots. Seventy-eight. And a seventy-eight out of Lindbergh. He was looking for the big out. He will have a shot at it. A double three. The last time we saw one came at the hands of one Kylie Edmonds tonight. Mawson. With a beautiful one three six to put the pressure on Lindbergh. Lindbergh cannot afford the single three. And he gets it nonetheless. Nuthouse is the only way he can hold throw. And he does. Nick Lindbergh making a six out <laughs> strenuous I'll and yet flawed. <laughs> <laughs> and we're all having a good laugh. After this leg, there will be a break. No real momentum swings here. Everyone has held throw back and forth. Nick Lindbergh winning the bull. 177. Oh, 177. Gary Mawson staring down a nine darter, perhaps, trying to take down the, the prestige once held by 100. Sean Brenneman. Let's see if Mawson's got it in him. And no, first dart sails a millimeter just too high. Second dart a little bit faster. He knew it as well. Would not be the first time Gary Mawson has ever hit a nine darter. We certainly know that. Man who was the 2018 CDC Continental Cup champion. 59.
Both men notched at 96 average. Moss. And that's a 140 from Gary Mawson. A little bit of a tease there. You're welcome. Forty-five. Forty-five. Ill-advised for Lindbergh there. Mawson looking like he's going to be able to hold throw and looking like we're going to be tied at 4-4. Four, four. Fifty-six. Five, six, gives him six, eight remaining. So now, Lindbergh, love a nice, big, juicy round. 96. 96 is definitely not the way to do it. Should force him to double out or double in there with a 201. How dare you? Oh, All right. Whoa, okay. first charge of the five. Double bowl to do it. Deep breath out of Mawson. Decides to go against it. Can't say I blame him. Why go after him when you know your opponent is not down to an out, not trying to showboat as Gary Mawson, trying 59. to play it slow and steady, calculated. You expect that out of a veteran who's been on so many stages so many times. Gary Mawson and notches up at four going into the break. Mawson, good marker, second dart. Ooh, third one splits the upright. Nick Lindbergh now. A chance to make a statement going into the break. Not going to do it. 56. 56 from Lindbergh down to a two dart out, but Mawson down to a one dart out with three darts to do it. And one. First dart is all it takes, and with that, we go into the break, notched at four. We thought we had drama in the yep. last match. We now have more right. drama in the second match. Lindbergh, a 92 average. Mawson, a 93 average. The score is four to four, and seven weeks ago, these two men entered this league hoping to get into the finals. Who will get to nine? We will find out in due time. But in the meantime, let's hear from our sponsors. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, we ask you to support the ones who support us. That would be Magic Darts Incorporated and, of course, ZDarts.com. Their entire colonial line of dart boards and barrels are on special through the 31st of this month. You've got five days left. Go ahead. Order what you like. You can get the Stacy Pace steel tip. You can get the dart boards. You can get all the barrels that fit your grip and your needs. And at the end of your shopping spree, just punch in the promo code Colonial10. You will get 10% off during this economy and this craziness we're going through. You're damn right. Why wouldn't you? Go ahead and save yourself some money. And in the meantime, let's save ourselves some insanity by entering a sweepstakes and getting things for free while we're at it. Of course, we've got our sweepstakes that is effective tonight as soon as these matches are done. First one's out of the way. Second one is obviously well underway. And you can go to the Champ Darts Facebook page, the CDC's Facebook page, that is. Answer three questions correctly based on the matches you've watched tonight to enter the sweepstakes. And you can win a signed set of Lorraine Winstanley 
steel tip darts signed by Lorraine herself, her signature 24 gram target steel darts, as well as Big Daddy Darren Young, his signature flights. And from the American match that you're watching right now, you can win a signed box of Nathan Aspinall. The Asp himself signed the box filled with his darts, and you get flights to go along with it. But right now, we've got the CDC Championship League USA Division Finals. It is the four. Both men have held throw. Oh, by the way, it's Jeremiah Millar uh, fit flights you can get from Cosmo Darts and Fit Flight. But back to the match at hand right now. It is all notched at four. The averages, Lindbergh 92, Mawson 93. The scores are notched at four. Gentlemen, finish up your darts. Come on back here. It is time to see who is going to advance and play against Kylie Edmonds tomorrow night. So, gentlemen, come on in here. It is about that time. I hope you guys are ready. I hope you're warmed up and ready to go. Gentlemen, are you uh, you good to go or you want to take a couple more? I'm ready, Colin. Both right, men are bring ready. Bring it on, baby. Bring it on, baby is the last thing I'm going to hear him say and me say back to him. So, gentlemen, shoot well. Good luck and Godspeed. Game on. Both men held throw, as aforementioned, 17 times previously. 17, of course, the benchmark. Nine is the race 16. that they're going to leg-wise. Nick Lindbergh looking to hold throw once again, opening with a 60. Once again, I am Colin Cosell. You are you. We are all at home. We are Hi. dealing with this pandemic. And Gary Moss is dealing with a 180. Mawson with his second chance at a nine darter, a feat only accomplished one time during this league by Sean Brenneman. Nick Lindbergh with an 83. Mawson, three darts are perfect. Four darts are perfect. Ay, Dios mío, para Espanol. A 140 out of Mawson. I only sound disappointed because it would not be the first time he's hit a nine darter. We've only seen one nine darter in the history of the CDC Championship League, but there's Nick Lindbergh, and that's an AE, a 180. All I can do as a broadcaster is root for the best possible darts. Saw someone in the thread before saying it's not about me. You know what? As a darts fan, sometimes it is because I'm just like you. I just have a microphone. Sorry, guy. 100. There's a ton from Nick. But Austin now looking for the first break of the night. 19, gorgeous. Oh, he's going 48, double 16 route. And he's just inside. By his standards, probably a mile. Lindbergh to hold throw once again. First start, gorgeous. Second start, boom. And that is how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. A 14 no yarder out of Nick Lindbergh coming out of the break to hold throw once again. Mawson can only laugh at it. Mawson, come on now. A ton 40. George Timpone is on. RJ is on. 83. Ray Lachance is on. And Nick Lindbergh is on in 83. Mawson now. We appreciate all of you staying up with us at this hour. Not that time matters. During a pandemic, things are starting to open up, but I hope everyone is going to be safe out there. I know we've all been stir crazy and the weather's getting better, but... Just do what you got to do to be safe. We don't want to have to go through it again, do we? Mawson, 301. In the Westchester and Fairfield County Leagues that I played in, that would mean double in, double out. But Mawson otherwise thinks it's going to be another ton 40, his second of this leg. Lindbergh showing his respect. 
One thing I love as a broadcaster, we tried. We were trying to figure out a way to get Anthony Eugenia in the broadcast booth with me tonight without there being an extreme lag. I'll get to that in a second. Well, it doesn't matter. Second dart didn't work for Gary. That's a yeah. That's that's a one oh uh, yeah one oh two fifty nine. Yes, my math is finally serving me right. Uh, but we, I so desperately wanted to get Anthony in here because I know you guys have been putting up with my voice for fifteen straight matches now. Sixteen when we're done here. Seventeen when we're done tomorrow. Mawson, wow, that was perilously close. No, that was in. That was into the three. It was. Oh, my goodness. At any rate, we will get Anthony Eugenia in here. Once again, the Dream Team will be reunited. 81. We'll have a story about it 20 years from now. It'll be the new last dance on ESPN. Hopefully not during a pandemic. Gary Mawson out. A whole throw. Right. Again. One dart is all it takes. Five, five. Good darts. And Anthony, I know you're there right now. Why don't I have you jump in for a second? What do you think of this match thus far? We are notched at five. It is a race till nine. I know we can't do the proper uh, color commentary play-by-play, -play, but let's get your assessment here. No, I mean, this is just solidly uh, the high performance here, mid-90s, and it's, and it's just – one three seven a one three seven to open up there from nick lindbergh anthony will get his microphone situation situated i know i just kind of threw him under the bus there I was like hey just start talking Thanks. the most knowledgeable man i know in darts outside of you know some of the players themselves but sorry colin i had my mic up there for a moment it's all good. Talk to us, Anthony Eugenia. We want to hear your voice. I miss it. it. This has just been a solid match from first dart to the last. It it, it doesn't – I maybe the first match this evening had more roller coasters. This is just constant. It's constantly good. We're both in the mid-90s right now. This is fantastic. You know what, Anthony? Why don't you finish off this 11th leg? I would love for you to take the reins. I'm going to sit back. I'm going to sip my tea and get my – my voice ready for, for the remainder of this. All right, will do, Colin. Thank you. Lindbergh starting off with three straight three-figure scores on an out after nine. What was that Moss score? We missed that last... I couldn't exactly tell how close on all of those triple twenties. Let's see what Gary. Oh, ton forty. But Nick <laughs> it was still worth the, the way, first, wasn't it? Right, absolutely. But still gives Nick six if he needs them. He may not. Oh. One fourteen. One. Okay. Oh, okay. I was a little thrown. Obviously, I thought Nick was throwing for double fifteen, so I was completely thrown. But he was he was setting up a, a tops and just missed the single single ten. But Lindbergh comes back with fifty after twelve. One three seven one hundred one hundred one fourteen. Double five. Double 10, I should say, in the third dart from Nick Lindbergh taking it in the 11th leg up 6-5. And I return it now to my colleague, Colin Cosell. Anthony, thank you so much. I will have you come back in the next leg because why wouldn't we at this point? Nick Lindbergh right there with a gorgeous 15 darter. Both men holding throw the entire match. And if that is true, if that holds true, <laughs> Nick Lindbergh will win tonight, 9-8. Whether or not that holds true is entirely in the hands of Gary Mawson. Gary Mawson will need to be the mauler. He was going to have to break Nick Lindbergh if this continues the way it is. Again, Lindbergh 
has been pounding when necessary. Moss has been pounding when necessary. This is exactly what you want out of the USA final. We got exactly what we came for out of the Canadian final. I mean, sure, we wanted to get 100. the full 17 legs. Nice ton 40 from Nick Lindbergh there. We came up one short, but my goodness, was it gorgeous. Speaking of gorgeous, when Mawson hits that first treble 20, you kind of hold your breath. And so does the treble 20 because he hits her with that third dart right there. Stunning. Takes one to get away. It is a game of muscle memory. 16. Concentration. Bob Hamilton right on point. Even when he missed the big number, he still had a 15 darter. Go figure. What do you expect out of these guys? Look at those averages. And a ton 40 from Mawson now. Looking to hold throw once again. 43. In Canada, we call it a slobber knocker. Here in America, we're calling it a slugfest. Still an out. Oh, he was going the old double bull, double 16 route. Is that a six he hit? Oh, sorry. <laughs> and a 41 scored by Mawson, hence the despondent laughter coming out of the mauler. 94. Good cover shot up top there by Nick Lindbergh. A little bit of pressure on Mossa now to hold throw. Forty-five, double eight. Good marker. Third dart. Oh, Gary Mawson does it. Gary Mawson holds throw. Unbelievable. It just goes back and forth, and so does the commentary. Anthony Eugenia take on this thirteenth leg. Colin, we're we're on a march to 17 full legs here, my friend. Here we are, 6'6", six, six, Lindbergh, Mawson. 92 does plays, it 94. Does it, does, it, does it get any better than this, Anthony? It does not. I propose it does not. When you guys put this all together, when you took that, that turn – in the face of the pandemic and everything, did you did you really think it was going to turn into what we're seeing here tonight? What over the past week, over the past seven weeks? I mean, historically, our first night yarder and everything. Oh, and that's a one eighty from Gary Mawson. Uh, everything that you've seen, like it, it, it's got to be a pinch me moment for you, and I'll let you take the reins. I apologize. Uh, as you've said before, it's a uh, great. Oh, and a return. That's a 180 from Nick Lindbergh. That's what this match is bringing you back to back 180s. Yeah, Colin, uh, you know, we had hoped that we were going to try and bring some entertainment and some darts to, to the folks and to keep us, uh, you know, in, in the news and keep the players um, in everybody's, uh, you know, vision. And it's been a wonderful success, I feel. And uh, we're looking forward to more this year. We've actually really been so happy with it that, you know, uh, I, I think the darting community sort of agrees as we fine tune the uh, the pieces of it to sort of, uh, 85. let's see, 85 by Mawson and then Lindbergh coming up here with 94. This could be part, part of our new norm, if you will. 58 by Nick. Third dart by Nick Lindbergh. Puts Got him it. up 7-6. Colin, you know, oh, this this you. this could be more more of the norm in especially on this continent when we talk about the you know how big you know the, the continent is and the troubles that people have traveling. So this could be a new component into regular competition play. And I also think it's something that you could fill in the blanks as Mawson opens up with Another ton 80, another opportunity to get a nine darter to be the second one in history. Nick has something to say about it, but, you know, Anthony, to piggyback 100. up what you're saying, 
you know, even if still we are able to get back to a normal tour, what about something to fill in the blanks uh, in between tours? I fully concur, and uh, you know it's minute. on our radar. It's, it's oh, in okay. the hopper. Oh, I know. I'm feeling it too, brother. Third dart just a bit outside. 60. But certainly, Colin, the uh, – the, the minds at the CDC are, are, are crunching the numbers and putting stuff down in the, in the hopper for ideas moving forward. And this is going to be one of them. Well, I have absolutely no doubt. Of course, that is Anthony Eugenio, one of the founding fathers of the championship dart circuit, the CDC that is always going to bring you joy and not tell you how to live your life. Uh, this is the championship dart Please circuit so. championship league. This is Nick Lindbergh and Gary Moss. And this is, the American final. The winner will go up against Kylie Edmonds tomorrow. Gary Moss and looking for an exclamation point to notch this bad boy up. Double ball. Oh, and he does it. Oh, Gary Moss, it. the mauler, mauling the center of the board. Absolutely gorgeous. And makes it 7 7. And I hand it back Thanks, to Anthony Virginia to take this 15th leg, my friend. Bullseye, and we're tied at seven. Boy, oh boy. This has not let up one inch. No time to breathe. No time to take your eyes off the screen. Lindbergh Moss in the USA Division Championship. Knotted at seven. First to nine. We are on the precipice of a decision. Huge darts indeed. The chat room just exploding. The viewership exploding as well. More and more people are catching wind of it. Go ahead. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Stop what you're doing. It doesn't matter. Time stands still. We're in the middle of a pandemic. It doesn't matter what you're doing in the morning. Watch the darts. And if you love the darts, stand up. If you love the darts, recline. This is a pandemic. Uh, I, I rightly got called out for using the term new normal. Yes. <laughs> Eh, it is what right. it is. It is what it is indeed. Oh, 15th leg. Look at that fine Nick Lindbergh dart room, as we've talked about, set up by Timmy Nickel. And Timmy shouted out in the chat room that he'd love to play in this league. And Mr. Nickel, you can count 59. on being contacted by the CDC in uh and no time flat for an invite in the next series of the championship league. Timmy's asking about the yeah. aforementioned Timmy Nickel about Gary Mawson and his citizenship. Gary's now a dual citizen, so he uh, he can move forward and play in uh, any sort of these competitions. It, it, truth be truth be told, we we went into this mainly doing a a sort of a geographic perspective. Uh, the, the players in the USA division were all obviously located in the USA, and conversely, the Canadian. So we'll you know, keep analyzing and keep playing around with that as we move forward. Forward, I should say. We really just want to put the best bunch of players together for the best darts, the best games, and the best entertainment. So here we go. Nick Lindbergh with a look at a double 14. Gary looking to take a little bite out of that. Not a ton of pressure on this double 14. Dart. And he converts second dart, 8-7 Lindbergh. And Colin Cosell is going to bring us on home. And I look forward to being back and sitting in with Colin to wrap this puppy up. Anthony, I want you to stand by because as we keep watching this, I, I you know, I, I will turn to you. So don't you go too far. By the way, Gary Moffin right there. His first leg in what feels like a century because we've all lost track of time that he didn't open with a ton 80. Mawson has had 
multiple chances tonight at nine darters. Uh, he got very close a couple legs ago. That's the first one he did not open up with a ton 80. Three consecutive ton 80s lead off for Gary Mawson. The numbers tell you no lies. Nick Lindbergh, a 93 average. Gary Mawson, a 95 average. Mawson looking to hold throw. He needs to do so. If Lindbergh is able to break. If he's able to get the first break, he will advance and play against Kylie Edmonds, the number four seed from O Canada. And now Gary Mawson. Oh my goodness! Relentless, ruthless. One seven seven. Mawson now down to an out, doing exactly what he needs to do. I've watched the chat room build in numbers. People have caught wind of what's going on here. It is phenomenal. Both men know what is on the line here. Oh my goodness, Gary Mawson. Nine nine. 99, sounding a little disappointed. Nick Lindbergh with a chance to get the first break of the night and advance will not do it. First start tells us so. So now, Mawson. Double top to bring us to the max. One. First start does it. Anthony Eugenia, jump in with me for just a moment here. We're going the distance. We're going for speed. We have two men shooting unbelievable darts. What do you expect out of here? A 13 darter from Mawson. Who can break or who will hold? Woo, doggy. It's going to be 15 darts or less. Let's see. I think, I think oh, Mawson's nice. going to take this. Yeah. All right. Well, if history have taught has well, taught us anything in this match thus far, both men have held throw. I can't remember a single match this season on the live stream where both shooters have held throw the entire match. I, so I don't think yeah, it's happened. Nick's 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 not going to go past fifteen. So if Morrison wants to break, a Morrison's got to throw a twelve. Oh, there's a ton 40 from Mawson. So now a little bit of pressure on to Nick Lindbergh, perhaps feeling it. That first dart it goes into five second dart grade cover. 81. And comes away with 10 81. Man, oh man, you got exactly what you paid for. And guess what, folks? You didn't have to pay a dime. All you had to do was open up your smartphone, your TV, your tablet your computer to watch these darts. Gary Moss, kind of in the driver's seat a little bit. Nick Lindbergh maybe feeling a 60. bit of the pressure. A 60, this gives Moss in a bit of an opening. What are you seeing, Anthony Eugenia? Yeah, three digit score here and Nick's in trouble. If it's, any, if it's an 85. Moss with a 140, leaves him 96. Oh, now Nick Lindbergh needs a maximum to put pressure on. First start tells us he's not going to get it. Gary Mawson is now looking for the first break of the night. 40. A nice 40 out of Nick, Nick Lindbergh. Oh, a fantastic reply. But Mawson with a two dart out. Not going to do it that way. Could do it that way. Double eight, Gary Mawson. Third dart is just outside. Gary Mawson misses an opportunity. Nick Lindbergh needs a this Shanghai right attempt. now. Lindbergh is not going to be able to do it 60. this round. He needs Gary Mawson to miss. Gary Mawson to move on to the finals. The former Canadian or current Canadian and American. Could represent two countries all at once. Good marker. Second dart. Another good marker. Split the uprights and in. Oh. Oh, and it goes way south and inside. Nick Lindbergh, a two dart out. Unbelievable. To hold throw once more. Nick Lindbergh. The double 20. The double 10. Oh, and he hits a single pen. Nick Lindbergh. This is insane, Colin. 
is palpable. Anthony Eugenia, I hope you're at the edge of your seat because I'm standing up. Gary Moss in double four. There's no seat left. Deep breath from Moss and sizes it up. And there yeah. it is. The first break of the night belongs to Gary Boston. And it is the break I can't believe you missed. of the season. Oh, Gary Boston pulls it out and will face Kylie Edmonds I know, I know, in the first I know, I know. ever CDC Championship League indeed. final representing the United States oh. tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Uh, wow. wow. Simply wow. phenomenal, wow. Colin. Wow. Gary Mawson with a 96 average takes the U.S. Division Championship. Gentlemen, please take your mark. We would oh. love to talk to you, Anthony, Eugenia. Colin, I will let you lead it off, and I will no, follow it up. Colin, Colin, please take this one for me. Please bring right. this, bring tonight to a close. All right, will do, Anthony, Eugenia, ladies and gentlemen. Gary Mawson, obviously, obviously honoring his his dear friend and the great Dave Watson. Um, Gary, he went back. He was watching all the oh, way. I don't have to tell you what happened tonight. I'm going to get to you in just a second. First, I want to turn to Nick Lindbergh. Nick, it was you. You put on an unbelievable Nick, show tonight. Uh, it was everything we could have possibly asked for out of a divisional championship. That was unbelievable. It came down to doubles at the end. Was it nerves? Was it just missing the outs? Walk us through that final leg. Uh, all good. I kept throwing uh, everything at him. He, you know, he kept hitting back. And uh, for me, I thought it was in. It didn't go in. And that's the way it happens. Great, great dart, scary. Um, I was happy with my darts all night. Uh, everything I threw at Gary, he, ne he never buckled. He kept throwing right back at me, so it was fun. A lot of fun. Thanks, Gary. Nick, you are now a household name. Everyone in the darts community in North America knows your name. Um, you have put on a great show all season long. We thank you. We thank you for sharing your Timmy Nickel produced uh, man cave. It's absolutely gorgeous. All of your trophies and everything on display, but that aside, it just comes down to you, the Aki, and the dartboard. Tell us about your experience here with this virtual league, what you've learned from it, what you've learned about yourself, and your overall experience. Yeah, I mean, overall, I mean, when you're playing the top in the country week in, week out, you got to up your game, you know. And, and I'm sure Gary felt the same way tonight. He threw, he threw a lot of high darts, and I matched and – threw right back at him, and I was like, sometimes he's got a break, right? And it doesn't happen. We just keep throwing high darts right back at each other. It's fun. It's exciting. And, uh, you know, it comes down to that clutch double at the end, and uh, Gary hit it, and I did it tonight. And, uh, but it's fun. It makes your darts better. I mean, if you are a competitor at this level, how do you not love it? So uh, much kudos. Thanks to the CDC and all the sponsors for thanks uh, for that piece. You know, um, it's awesome. I enjoy it. Nick, we enjoy you so much. You are a true class act. You're one of the favorite people that I can now proudly call my friend. It has been an honor to call your matches all season long. I look forward to seeing you in person once again when it is safe. Um, last question I have to ask because it's been the running commentary all season long. Has there been a nickname that you've latched onto that you would like to keep as your own so that David Garfinkel can make you a jersey? So you know how nicknames are. You know, you can't come up with their own. Uh, so, um, no, not that I know of, but open to all games. Uh, it's funny to have coworkers and uh, other fellow dark players working on that. And uh, it's kind of been fun from the professor to the boss to big swinging and, you know, all kinds of things. So, it's been fun, and, uh, you know, I, I'm a pretty simple guy. So, you know, I'm okay with just throwing darts and being Nick Lindbergh. Well, Nick Lindbergh, you're, uh, you're just it, – it's 
you it's an honor to have you to 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 be a part of this and uh and thank you you're you're truly a class act phenomenal job uh we can't wait to see you back again in competition and uh, congratulations on a job well done um i wish both of you could have made it to the final but you couldn't um a, a phenomenal job tonight thanks for putting on a tremendous show all season long thank you and uh congratulations to gary and uh shoot well in the final if you shoot like that i think you'll you'll be fine and kind of, kind thanks, of Nick. a phenomenal shot as well so uh good luck to both of them excellent nick Lindbergh, ladies and gentlemen thank you so much and now we shift gears over to gary mawson who now has his hands behind his head he is relaxing ever so comfortably against I, his dartboard gary mawson i have a new name for you, but i can't say it on the air <laughs> then we will get to that in the chat room later on i'm sure uh now gary mawson doing his ma his, his mauler yoga up against the uh the dartboard there gary first and foremost thank you for putting on a tremendous show all season you have been you've been you've been put through you on a serious note gary you've been put through the ringer this year you know you uh obviously dedicated tonight to dave watson you continue to play through the season with your friend spirit with you uh you played in the match right after he had passed you dedicated that unbelievable performance to him you have done nothing but impress well, us time man. and time again and now you are in the final tell us about your journey and what kind of intestinal fortitude it took you to get to this point uh putting your focus on the darts and carrying your friend's spirit with you oh. you know you want to make it funny but you put a, an emotional spin on it, so I can't. <laughs> I mean, the traveling was tremendous. I mean, living room, dart room, living room, dart room. <laughs> but I, I, yeah, Dave is, is he's here with me, and, and that's as far as I'm going to go with that. It's great to actually to be a part of this, never mind actually going to the final. And playing a country that I've been to a couple of times, and trying what they <laughs> they've come up with as far as the guitar player. So I'm I'm very excited about this. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. It's All right, we'll we'll COVID we'll, we'll nineteen get, is produced as far as the dark player. Well, we'll uh, we'll get back to uh, a little bit more of humor then. Um, uh, you obviously, uh, you're, you're one of the, the, the biggest and best personalities we have in the CDC. Um, what, what is it like for you as a dual citizen to be representing one of your two countries? Is there any kind of tear there or is it just, you know, whoever I'm playing against, I don't care. It's, it's all about the darts. Let's go with the, I don't care. You know, what, what the heck? I love darts. I love darts and i just want to support darts 100 percent. and if it's the cdc if it's the cdc if it's the adl i just want darts to succeed taking a look at this match it it was the only match i can think of all season on the stream that everyone held throw until the final break which was yours um two things i want to ask you uh, you had three consecutive ton 80 starts. You had one where there were uh, six perfect darts. Uh, how cognizant were you of that? And at what point were you more concerned about just getting the win than, uh, than getting nine darter if, in fact, that was the case? A nine darter is just a few of darts. We've all done it. Haven't we? I mean, it's just something no. that happens. Winning the match is the most important thing. I could not believe it. I couldn't break Nick, but he couldn't break me either. Went all the way right to the very end. I'm just open with actually that, that match. Nick is a phenomenal player, and kudos to him. As are you. And now I'm going to bring in my uh, phenomenal uh, my phenomenal cohort and uh, Anthony Eugenia with our, our closing question of the night. Anthony, uh, Mr. Gary Mawson, the mauler is all yours. Well, that's it. Hey, congratulations, <laughs> Gary. Um, boy, oh boy. I mean, I had hey, called who a, you a 90, 
I know. They, they they leave the door open to let anybody in. Um, you know, you came through. I was calling for 97 averages at the beginning of the evening. You, you know, you, you hit us with a mix and a really just thrilling final, you know. Um, so here we are. You're you're in the overall championship final. And, you know, what do you see happening tomorrow? Give, give me a little preview of the edmonds Morrison matchup tomorrow night. Well... <laughs> I had a whole song prepared for Jim, but he didn't make it. So I, I got to come up with a new song for Kylie. Uh, no, it's it's uh, it, it, Kylie's a, an amazing guy. He's an amazing player. I mean, I just I, I'm looking forward to it. It's just exciting to just play darts. I just love this game, and I'm I'm excited that the CDC has actually put forward something that we could all like get together with. And I can't wait to see what the future holds. Thanks, Gary. We we love the enthusiasm, and when we all love this as well. So it's great to see you play, and we wish you well tomorrow night. Thank you, thank you, Anthony. And with and with that, Gary, I will let you know as you walk off into the sunset. Until we see you a a short twenty one hours less uh, than from now. Um, not everyone in the chat room has hit a nine darter, so that is not something we've all done. Um, but oh, uh, we appreciate your confidence in all oh, of us. Uh, <laughs> no worries. But uh, our best to you. Give our love to Lily and uh, go relax, Gary Mawson. You, sir, are in the CDC Championship League Finals. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. And Lily, thanks you. She's very close by. <laughs> As you know, I mean, behind every great man is a great woman, and she should actually stand in front of you because she's a lot easier on the eyes. Gary Mawson, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we appreciate you. You are just. Oh. I look good. I look good. <laughs> <laughs> There's no denying that, that, my friend. <laughs> I was doing my best Eugenia imitation so that I wouldn't get any of the heat. I've gotten enough this season. Gary, go get some rest. We'll see you tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern. Thank you so much for such a great show tonight. We really appreciate it. And to all of you at home, we really Thank appreciate you. you being a part of this. Take care. Be well. And reminder to everyone at home, there is still a sweepstakes going on. In fact, it is officially underway. Uh, I'll get to that in just a moment. There it is. Your score. Gary Moss in one break in the night, and it was the break that mattered most. 96 average on the night, as was foreseen by the great Anthony Eugenia, Nick Lindbergh, with a 93 average. Uh, Anthony, if you're still there, quick preview of what yeah. you expect tomorrow night before I get into our sweepstakes, our ads, and our close. Well, we obviously are going to see a high score on a fair. I mean, uh, you know, Gary topped the evening with a 96, but, you know, Kylie really put on some fireworks tonight. So uh, it's going to slightly unexpected, but I think it's going to be a fantastic final. I think that's kind of a, uh, a foregone conclusion. I, uh, I definitely guarantee. So, Anthony, as always, it is – an honor or privilege to uh, kind of share the booth, so to speak, with you. Uh, we, we found a way to do it with the lag, with the technology, and I think it is something that uh, everyone at home appreciated, and God knows I do as well. I love you, brother, and uh, thank you for everything you've done with the CDC and uh, everything you add to all of our broadcasts. Good night, everybody. Thank you for watching. There it is, the great Anthony, Eugenia, everyone, and it is official as of right now. Both of our sweepstakes are underway. All you have to do is go to the Facebook page for the Championship Dart Circuit. That is Championship. Uh, I'm sorry, that's Facebook.com slash Champ Darts. All you have to do is answer three questions correctly based on the live matches you have watched tonight. The answers can be found on the Dart Connect match report available at tv.dartconnect.com. One of the prizes up for grabs. A signed set of Lorraine Wynn Stanley steel tip darts her 24 gram signature target darts signed by her and then you get to throw the darts yourself also a set of big daddy darren young fit flights and we have the asp that's right nathan aspinall signature 22 gram target darts signed by the asp himself as well as a set of signature jeremiah millar 
fit flights again all you have to do between now and 5 p.m is enter one time and one time alone no one in the cdc family is allowed to uh, participate it's all on you the darts fans to go to the facebook.com slash champ darts page and answer the three questions these questions three based on the answers you find at tv.darkconnect.com and of course we want to give our love to cosmo darts fit flights and Magic Darts Incorporated, they've got their entire colonial line of dartboards and barrels for 10% off. That's right. You go to a to zdarts.com now through the 31st of May. Use the promo code COLONIAL10. You will get 10% off of the entire colonial line. What are you waiting for? Do it. It's not like we're all made out of money, so save a little and get a great product in the process. And of course, on a to z darts.com, you will find their blog, which you can find such great columns by Dax Munna, uh, as, as well as many great darts enthusiasts. We've heard that uh, how to approach the perfect out has been one of the latest blog posts by Dax, and we're, we've got plenty more coming up on a to z darts.com, presented by Magic Darts Incorporated. Stay up to date on all new blog posts by following tomorrow night. The question marks are no longer there. We're going to fill them in with pictures tomorrow, but now you know it is Gary Mawson representing America, Kylie Edmonds representing Canada, your USA division champion, Gary Mawson, taking down Nick Lindbergh in epic fashion, the only break of the night, winning 9-8. Kylie Edmonds back and forth with Jim Long, except it was a little more lopsided back and forth, but ended up winning 9-7. Doesn't matter now. It is Mawson. It is Ed Edmonds. It is you. It is me. It's Anthony Eugenia. And it is Wednesday, May 27th, tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern, Facebook, YouTube. You can follow both streams live. We expect to see you there. So thank you all for watching. All rights to this broadcast are owned by Championship Darts Corporation and a rebroadcast or retransmission, including images and likeness without express written consent of the copyright holder, is strictly prohibited. This broadcast is brought to you by USA Dart Productions, courtesy of Kevin Malenfant and our super producer, L. David I. Reed, as well as the players themselves all season long. Special thanks to Chris Schick and David Garfinkel for stats and info. Could not do it without you. And of course, to a to Z Darts and Magic Darts Incorporated's very own Jennifer Mounts for the graphics and animations that we've had all season long. Thank you, Jennifer. Amazing work. And with that, on behalf of Gary Mawson, Nick Lindbergh, the great Anthony Eugenia, and myself, as well as our amazing crew working behind the scenes in the championship dart circuit, once again, I'm Colin Cosell saying just be safe out there, be nice to one another, take care of one another. We're all out for each other until tomorrow night when we the championship league final. 8 p.m. See you then. Good night.